I wish I would have had this in my uh, my tool belt back when I was on the SWAT team. <laughs> that would have got vicious. But we sit in a circle and we just discuss. We go around. You know, what are you good at? But what do we want you to do? And what do we want you to stop doing? Right? And it like hits home, man. When you hear those kind of weaknesses. When I did this with that team a, a few months ago, it was it's so uncomfortable the first time. But once it comes out and once you all talk about it. It's so much better the next day, right? When you show up to work, it's yeah. crazy. It's because if you don't have them, everybody knows what it's like. Like, if there's something about Casey that bothers me, nothing. Or if I'm, you know, resentful to Casey, we always say here, I say this all the time lack of clarity creates resentment, right? And clarity prevents resentment. So if Casey does something that bothers me and we don't talk about it, everything from that point on just seems to be like heightened, sensitive, right? Like, it's like, it's expanded on a microphone. Like, you know, maybe he's like, now the next day after you piss me off, you're clicking your pen. And now all I can think about is he's clicking that pen. Like, you know, it just seems to really, yeah. so if you have that conversations, you get it out. Sometimes you don't even agree at the end of them, but it's done and but it just seems to really clear the air and you can move forward and grow.